I am Neeraj Mehta. I'm a cardiologist with HeartSouth Cardiovascular Group. Peripheral vascular disease, or PVD, is a common but serious condition affecting the arteries. It is also called peripheral arterial disease, or PAD. PVD occurs when a fatty buildup called plaque narrows down the arteries, causing obstruction to blood flow. It most commonly affects the arteries in the leg, but can involve the arteries in the neck, the arms, the intestines, or the kidneys. One may wonder, who is likely to get PVD? Several risk factors have been identified. Persons over the age of 50, people using tobacco products, patients with high blood pressure, high cholesterol or diabetes, and those with a history of heart disease or stroke are at risk of getting PVD. The signs and symptoms of PVD include leg pain with activity, fatigue, tiredness or cramping of the leg muscles, poor hair growth, skin color changes, and wounds that are difficult to heal. PVD can be diagnosed with simple non-invasive testing in the office. It can be prevented by quitting tobacco use, controlling high blood pressure and diabetes, regular exercise and following a heart-healthy diet. It can be treated using medications and starting a walking program. Severe PVD may need to be treated with interventional cardiology procedures using balloons, stents, atherectomy or laser-based procedures. Some patients may even need surgery. If you or a family member are concerned about the possibility of PVD, I would encourage you to talk to your cardiologist about it.